welcome to our building series. Uh, today we'll be talking about a very, very important vaccine, part of our vaccination schedule that we give at week 8, which is the Salmonella vaccine, popularly known as foul typhoid vaccine, and it's caused by Salmonella. That's the bacterial name for the, uh, that causes the disease. And it's a similar disease typhoid also in human beings, but different species of the vaccine, of the bacteria rather. So the one we're dealing with today is the Salmonella in poultry. And we are vaccinating against salmonella at week 8, which is our first shot, and then we are meant to give a, repeat, uh, a second dose at week 10. Now, one of the very, very uh, important things to note about salmonella, which is a fault effort, it, has, it also has high economic importance to the farmer because it affects both digestive and reproductive system. Of course, once you know, once your, the reproductive system and digestive system of your bed is compromised, you know, definitely profitability is going to be something that, that will be very, very difficult to get. Now, talking about how it affects their digestive system, it affects the intestinal lining, making nutrient absorption very, very difficult. So by implication, it means they will consume feed. By the time they consume that feed, the nutrients in that feed that is meant to be available for them. Because the integrity of the digestive tract has been affected, they will not be able to absorb that nutrient. So the majority of what they will be consuming, they will be passing it out as feces. You have bulkier fecal material because of less absorption of nutrients. It also affects their reproductive tract too, which in turn will lead to low production. And in some severe cases, you even have totally, uh, you have production completely disappearing. And by implication, once there's a health challenge, especially with bacteria like this, apart from the economic challenge the farmer gets to experience due to feed wastage as well as uh, poor performance, you also tend to have uh, issues with mortality. And at terminal stage, the mortality can be very, very up to 40 50 percent mortality in severe cases. Now, this is our vaccine. As usual, we usually carry our vaccine in our vaccine carrier where we need to maintain a cold chain. You can see our ice pack here with our vaccine, and this is our vaccine bottle from Prova. Now, this particular vaccine, there are two types of this vaccine there is the water based and then the oil in motion, which is also called the oil based, preferably the oil based. Now, most times when you use this oil base, you realize that the efficacy of this oil base is far, far more pronounced compared to when you use the water base. Now, by implication, it means this will save, this is more expensive, but will save the farmer cost as the margin of error of vaccine failure or breakage on the oil base is far, far better compared to when you use the water base. So, most of the time, we prefer to use the oil base, and this is our vaccine.